with 150 member groups across the country representing collectively 4 million Canadians. We're here to stand up today and say that we, just like the vast majority of the population in this country, support these war resistors and will fight tooth and nail to make sure that they are able to stay here in Canada. <laughs> Over the past few years, the Canadian Peace Alliance has been watching with growing concern an increase in militarism in this country. We're seeing vast increases in the amount of money going to military spending, but we're also seeing a very, very sharp change in the rhetoric coming from the Government of Canada, supporting a much more active and aggressive foreign policy and supporting the Bush administration wherever they possibly can. We're seeing that from the Harper government now. And this shame, yes, and this particular case we with the war resistors here in Canada is just another example of this. There was a time and place, as many people have spoken about, there was a time that uh, war resistors were allowed into this country when the doors were flung open and people were allowed to stay here and Canada was in fact a refuge for militarism. But our government has a very, very different plan and is moving in a very, very different direction. But what we need to know and what we need to see is that there are thousands and thousands of Canadians across the country. We sent out the call for people to send out letters and such to step and the on and the Prime Minister today to allow the war resistors to stay, and we were swamped with a response from the member groups of the CPA across the country. And if we decide over the next little while that we can combine the strengths of the peace movement with the war resistors network, it will be very, very good for us over the next little while to call for major demonstrations across the country. We have eight that are happening here today across the country, but I can tell you that we could get 40 cities out, no trouble at all, and thousands of Canadians to be able to support the war resistors. and I think it's, it's one example of the huge support that Canadians have for war resistors. And so as many have talked about, this is the beginning of the next leg of our campaign. We know that the opposition parties, if they choose to cooperate with us, could ensure that a provision is made in Parliament allowing U.S. war resistors to stay in Canada. There is no doubt, as people have said, that this is what Canadians want, and this is no doubt there's no doubt that this is what is right. We can do something about this. So if everyone has a pen and paper ready or make sure that you get this phone number ingrained into your memory, um, we will have lots of uh, campaigns that will be calling out for people to call and call your MPs. And here is the phone number for Stefan Dion's office so we can make sure that we give him lots of uh, phone calls letting him know what Canadians want. 613-996-5789. So five, seven, eight, nine. That, we can make that into a new chant. All right, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now you'll be singing it all night. <laughs> it will never leave your head. Um, so, so call, and we'll uh, we'll send him a strong message. Terry is on her way, just down at the lights. She's um, she's coming down. So in the meantime, we do have lots of, of clipboards. Uh, members of the campaign have them here. If you haven't signed up, if you can make sure that you sign up, um, give us your contact information so that you can be part of the, the continued struggle. We promise we will be contacting you to be getting involved. Uh, Wayne and Irene, who along with me support your cause. Because we think this is totally immorally wrong what's happening. And sisters and brothers, we're here today to let our governments know that we're going to win this fight. We're going to win this fight. We're going to win the fight for justice for U.S. war resistors. They deserve nothing less. We are here to tell the world that there's a political crisis in Canada. If they haven't heard about it all.